Underground secret base? What? Are you serious? <laughs> Who are you, man? Hey, look at me when I talk to you. She is looking at me. Okay, ladies first. Ladies first. Go. No? Okay, I go. If you don't want to. Is that Trevor in this gas? I don't think so, but I have no clue. Carla, are you going? Thank you. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. Get that, Carla. Because there's bonus plus twenty. Whoa, that's a huge community. How? How did you find me? That man came and got me. He told me you needed help. Man. Do you know who that man is? I have no idea. So it's he just not told me partner. we had to follow him. So, what do we do now? Looks like we don't have much choice. Let's follow him. I know that's a child, but come on, it's, it's like seven years old, maybe more. So you don't have to carry her. Marcus? Lucas, you're safe and sound. Marcus, how did you end up here? They came looking for me. They explained everything, Lucas. I know now that you were crazy. I hope that you can forgive me for doubting you. I couldn't possibly have known that you were really... What are you talking about? Our host will explain everything. Hmm. Welcome to the Camp of the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. Okay. You call yourself the Invisibles? Many of us are homeless. Though we're scattered throughout every city, no one ever notices us. This allows us to see without being seen, and pursue our mission without attracting attention. What do you know about the Chroma? It's a natural energy force. Like gravity or magnetism, but it is infinitely more powerful. This force is in you, Lucas. And you've only discovered the smallest part of it. Hmm. That's interesting. What do you know about the Indigo Child? She's a perfectly pure child whose soul has never been incarnated. Her coming has been awaited since the dawn of time. Hmm. Who is really behind the Orange Clan? Nobody knows for sure. It's said that there are five. Five to control the world. Administration, police, army, finance, the media. They control everything. Over the centuries, the 
Orange Clan has built an empire that runs the entire world. Hmm. You mentioned the clans. How many of them are there? In ancient times, every kingdom had its clan. But then they began warring and most of them disappeared until there was only one left. From the west, the Orange Clan. You mean that... The prophecy has been all that has motivated the most powerful since the very beginning. They fought with one another with the sole hope of improving their chances of finding the Indigo Child. What's the history of the world in a new light, doesn't it? Hmm. Prophets. What is the message of the prophecy? It announces the birth of the Indigo Child. The child have the answer to all questions. And the one who hears her message will have access to infinite power. But if the child has not been heard before the final countdown, humanity will cease to exist. So, what do we do now? We must bring the Indigo Child <laughs> Come on, you don't have to get up every time. That's where she'll deliver her message and complete the prophecy. Did you notice that? Where do we find this Chromosaurus? He starts talking, he gets up, he gets up. He stops talking, he sits down. Could be found on an old Just military crazy. base called Wishita. Wishita? That's where I was born. My parents were scientists, they were working for the government. Ah, and that explains many things. In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. We must bring the indigo child there as quickly as possible. Before she wastes away and dies without having delivered her message. When do we leave? In two hours. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. It seems likely that the orange and purple clans will be waiting for you at Wishita. They will stop at nothing to prevent you from uniting the child with the artifact. We will take care of the child and give her a bit of chroma to help her hang on. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there. I suggest you get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. Blink, Tomorrow blink. may well be the last day of the human race. Okay, you will carry her. That's all right. I'm dead tired, Carla. I'm gonna take Bogart's advice and get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm gonna wander around a bit and join you later. Okay, get up. Do I see a bonus there? Or not? No, that's just a radio. Radio Gaga. All we hear is Radio Gaga. Oh, radio. If I could get it to work, maybe I could get some news from up top. It seems to be in pretty good shape. Just need some batteries and an antenna. Batteries and antenna. You can get batteries from flashlight. Flashlights. I'm gonna steal the batteries out of one for the radio. Leon. Lion. Lion. Okay, we need antenna. Right, that's what she said. Hi. We can talk. Okay. What is this? Lights. Free group track. That's great. Let's admit it. Actually, the less you have, the more you concentrate, but whatever. Okay, let's go to the radio first. Maybe we don't need this. Maybe batteries will be. Some 
batteries and an antenna to have any chance of this thing working. You have batteries. I haven't noticed anything else. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what you need. work as an antenna for the radio I knew it I just knew it that's there of course good I did not decide to go further state of emergency. The army has been deployed throughout the nation to discourage looting and protect those unable to remain in their homes due to the cold. Several hundred thousand men have been attached to emergency services in order to... All the oceans of the globe are now almost entirely frozen over. The oceans? The Atlantic Ocean is closing up and there are only a few hundred miles in the middle of the Pacific which haven't been covered over by the ice flow. If the temperature continues to fall, it seems like... And I'm telling you the truth. This cold wave is a divine punishment for all of humanity's sins. God is sick and tired of our faithless, evil ways, and he's okay, going to cleanse the planet of the unworthy and the apocalypse. The future of the world is going to be decided tomorrow at Wishita. Huh. Interesting. Okay, you told us you want to join him. He is not sleeping at all. Come on, liar. Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? Fields, forests. Cities, everything will disappear under the ice. And what's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like, like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? Not anymore. If we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I, I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. Maybe if. Things have turned out differently. Close your eyes, man. Frozen. Your lips are like ice. I love you, Lucas. What? You. What? But you just met her in him yesterday. <laughs> 